All right, let's go. Oh. Due to the graphic nature of this game, player discretion is advised. scary at all. <sighs> God, let's go. Super Beanie Man Gaming All kinds of games he's planned Push start to the game Super Beanie Man Gaming So today's game is World's Scariest Police Chases on PlayStation 1, which was a game based on a TV show of the same name. Um, the show was essentially a clip show, I guess, of real-life police chases, hosted by an ex-sheriff, John Burnell. In the game, you play as a generic cop taken on various missions, all of which are hosted by the show's actual host, John. So the game does a good job of mimicking the show in that respect, as each mission is kind of like a segment of a show. So mission 1 is a training mission, which teaches you how to handle the police car by putting you on a small circuit to race around, while avoiding several barricades in the road. The mission is pretty easy, and you are allowed to hit a few cones, which is nice. Upon seeing the game in action and playing it, I think it's time to discuss the elephant in the room. Yes, I'm talking about you, driver. From the overall presentation, vehicle controls, camera views, and handling, you can tell that this game is very much a driver clone. Hell, even the pedestrians run out of the way like they do in driver. I'd say, though, that it's less sim-like in terms of handling than driver was, as it has a more arcadey feel, but it is fun to drive around, and quite impressive for the console that it's on. So mission 2 continues the training camp part of the story mode, and this one tasks you with completing the basic pursuit. This is done by ramming into the vehicle and causing enough damage for it to stop. So any impact you make on the car will cause damage and get to rise. Once filled, you win. Now, this sounds simple, but it's here where you start to get a taste of just how bullshit this game can be towards you. So I'm chasing him and I've got him in my sights and I've done a bit of damage to him already. But then, all of a sudden, mission failed. The suspect has escaped. The suspect has escaped. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute. I beg your pardon, game. Actually, the subject has not escaped. Because I can see him right there when the camera goes around. Look, there he is. The suspect Fucking has hell. escaped. This mission would be fine if you had more than one lap to go around this circuit. Instead, you barely get enough time or opportunity to catch up and deal damage to the vehicle. It turns an otherwise easy mission into a tedious, long and boring case of trial and error until you learn the route and learn when best to make your moves. By the time you beat the level, you will know every inch of it, every turn, every straight, everything the aero driver will do and every single damage opportunity you can take.
Mission 3 is your firearms training mission in which the game gives you a pistol. You are still in the vehicle as there are no on foot sections like Driver 2, thankfully. <coughs> to access your weapons, you tap L1 and press R1 to select the gun you want. The shooting itself is rather awkward as there is no free aim or manual lock. Instead, you have to rely on the game locking on and then you have to awkwardly position the car to line up the crosshair dot. So I catch up with the driver and begin to open fire with the pistol. I've got you now, you son of a bitch. Jesus, the pistol's weak. Look at this. I'm barely doing any damage here. God, this is so slow. Oh, why are the cars such Fucking bullet sponges, come on! Come on! Oh, come on! Finally, it's destroyed. That shouldn't have taken so long. When I finally do stop the car, I then have to drive back to find the evidence they threw out of the car during the chase. This is an annoying level gimmick that will bite you in the ass later. So after all that backtracking, we finally found the evidence and managed to complete this mission without too much hassle. Next up is mission 4, which is the final training mission, and this one combines your driving and shooting skills. It says Expert Pursuit on the title for it, but weirdly, you don't actually chase any cars. Instead, it's an obstacle course along a twisty turny track, and at one point you have to brake and do a reverse 180 turn. It also gives you a shotgun with several targets to shoot down along the way. Let's do this. Officer, you have knocked over too what? many cones. I hit too many cones. I hit like one cone. One cone and you're failing me for that. Jesus. It's a bit strict, isn't it? Okay, let's try this again. And this time, I'm gonna make sure I don't hear any fucking cones. Okay, this isn't too bad. You've gotta go fast, but keep it under control. I can do this. Now I've just got to shoot the targets. Okay, now shoot all the targets along the road. Quickly! Officer, you have knocked over too many cones. You have failed this test. Oh, fuck! I can't hit the bastard! Come on! Lock on! Fucking lock on, goddammit! Ah, oh, finally! Okay, where's the next one? Ah, fuck. I've run it over. Yes! Yes, I got that one right away. Just one more now. Come on. Ah, fuck. I can't hit it. Oh, shit. I'm running out of time. Come on, just fucking hit it. Just fucking hit it. Come on, come on. Oh. Time's up now. Fucking hell, this is annoying. Alright. Let's try that again. Okay, now shoot all the Oh god, I've hit the fucking cone again. Ugh. Okay, I got this. Two back-to-back -back targets down pretty quick. Come on, 
please. Yes, I think that hit it. <laughs> yes, come on. I got it. Let's get this finished now. Come on. <laughs> yes. Come on. Yes, that's the last corner. There's the finish line. I got it. I got it. I got it. <gasps> no. Fuck. Shit. Just keep coming back until you get it right. And then I'll give you a hug. A hug. The targets. Looks like you failed this test, but a fucking hug. How about I shove my foot up your ass, game? You still want to give me a fucking hug then, do you? Oh. I can just hear that jump prick now. What a hug? Uh, well, you know what, John? Why don't you shut the fuck up? That's better. Right, let's do this. Go, go, go! I'm gonna make it. Have you all the targets along the road? Quickly! I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Finally, yes, bro, yeah, I'm finally finished with this mission. <laughs> yes, I fucking did it. I fucking did it. <laughs> what? What? Failed. But, but, but I did it. I, That's crap, because I know for a fact I hit four of five targets there. <sighs> Let's check a replay. Okay, here it goes. One, two, three, four targets hit. See, I did do it. I did it fair and square. Look at the requirements. It says four of five targets. I got four. Four of them got done it. That should have been enough to pass it, but no. I've been on this goddamn shit mission for 30 minutes now. How much more do you want me to do, game? How many more hoops have I got to jump through? God, quit fucking me in the ass, game, and let me pass. Okay, come on. I can do this. I'm not going to let this piece of shit game beat me.
So I finally passed mission 4 and the training part of the game is now over. Mission 5 is where things start proper. Once again John narrates the intro, essentially giving the player a mission briefing. Here the aim is to pull over a drunken driver, which is pretty tame, but hey, it's the first mission, plus a cop's day today isn't always going to be bank robberies, so let's get on with it. Okay. Let's go get this guy then. Wait, what? It started me off facing the wrong way? Look at that arrow. It's telling me to do a 180 as soon as the mission begins. What the fuck is this? Why not just put me facing the right way to begin with, game? Was that so hard to program? Fuck me. So I immediately do a 180 turn and attempt to head towards the drunk driver. The city is rather impressive to be fair for a PS1 era title. While there's not many cars or pedestrians on the screen, there are a lot of buildings and it is quite detailed. So I speed along the road and I begin to catch up with the drunk driver and upon pressing L1 I notice I have my weapons available. I then attempt to ram the driver and it does a fair bit of damage, but he pulls away. So as I drive after him, I decide to pull out the weapons and begin shooting him. Mission failed for using weapons. I'm sorry, what? What? If I couldn't use the weapons, then why game? Why did you give me access to them? This is total bullshit. Okay, so I need to just ram him instead and not use the pistol it's given me. Well, the only problem with that is the damage system is totally fucked up. You see, when you do ram the bad guy's vehicle, you will more often than not do just as much, if not more damage to your own vehicle in the process. This means you better not even think about crashing the car along the way. Scrape the car against the wall, hit a lamppost, accidentally bump into another civilian car. Oh fuck you player, you better start over again you worthless piece of shit. The player vehicle damage system very nearly breaks the game, as it's way too strict considering what the game expects from you. Your car can get totaled way too easily, and a big impact on the enemy car doesn't always do as much damage as you'd expect. If the game just had some sort of repair pickup system in place for you to undo some of your own vehicle damage, I feel it would make it a much more fun and enjoyable experience. As well as vehicle damage being a pain in the arse, you'll sometimes find you randomly fail the mission because you've lost a suspect even though you can still see him in the view of the camera. On this attempt I couldn't cross the highway in time to get over to him. So instead, I decide to drive on the opposite side, following alongside him. As I pull ahead very slightly, I get a game over. The suspect got away. Um, no, I didn't lose him. <laughs> Look, there he is right there. Going past us. Oh, great. There he goes. Now he's getting away. Now you can fail the game. So if I can't damage him without dying, is there another way I can stop him? Well, there is actually. There is another blue bar right underneath the red damage meter, which fills up when you have your siren on. I think it's supposed to be like nerve for the criminal, so if it fills right up, he loses his nerve, and then he will pull over. But unfortunately, I've never been able to get it all the way to the top, because it's so goddamn fucking slow, and it's quite annoying to have the sirens blaring out all the time throughout this two, three, four minute chase. Plus, you also have to be right on top of the car for it to slowly fill up. It's slower than fucking... Slower than fucking something in the fucking ass.
I get completely fucked here. My health is less than 5% so I can no longer ram the car. I'm trying to stay close and use the sirens to fill up the blue meter, but it's so fucking slow to fill up. Come on, almost there. Just keep it steady and I've got you now. <laughs> Fucking hell, game. What do you want from me? What am I gonna do? Cuffed, and he's in the backseat of a police cruiser on his way to jail. Ah, fuck that mission. Even on missions where I can take out the car in time, it then decides to throw up more of a collect the evidence bullshit on me just to screw me over one last time. Look at this. Just stopping the fucking car in the first place has nearly totaled me, and now I'm expected to backtrack for miles in order to pick up the bag. Jesus, this would be alright if there wasn't a time limit. But the time limit is so miles to cover. And guess what? I couldn't fucking make it in time, could I? Mission fucking failed again. And will I get a checkpoint? Fuck no, it's back to the fucking start to do it all over a fucking yen. Well, you know what? Fuck this mission. So later missions get even more ridiculous and over the top. Like mission 14, which tasks you from stopping a tank with your patrol car. Yes, that's right, a tank. With me just being armed with a pistol, machine gun and shotgun with limited ammo, you're expected to stop a fucking tank all within a short time limit too. Now an issue I have here is that ramming the tank barely does anything, so you have to shoot. My only problem is, to hit him I need to pull up behind him and fire, yet if I do he'll have a clear shot to shoot at me. So it then becomes an awkward game of chicken, with me trying to hit him and dodge his attack all the while while driving through the city and keeping up with him. Fuck this mission. The missions where you are allowed to use your guns though, I must say, are the most fun missions in the game. Mainly because you don't have to ram the car and risk killing yourself. Instead, you can attack from a relatively safe distance. Mission 16 is a fun one, purely because of this. I quite like Mission 16. It's alright. Upon completing missions, you get the option of an action replay of your attempt, which is a really cool feature. It offers you a cool cinematic replay of the level you just did. Or, at least it would if it recorded the whole fucking thing. Instead, you only get about 30 to 60 seconds of that level you played before it ends. So most of what you actually end up seeing in this replay is the travelling to the criminal section of the mission. What a waste. Mission 18 is a bank robbery mission in which you have to chase down two getaway vehicles. Hmm, okay. This one sounds pretty cool. Oh, 
All right, let's go. There they are in front of me. Right, come on. We have hit the spike strip. Unit one is disabled. When the crooks are carrying big guns and bad attitudes, skill and training aren't always enough. But you can bet these bank robbing, cop shooting menaces to society will be back. And the police will be right there to lock and load and send these bad guys. So I'll try this one again. This time turning around at the beginning and going the other way. I decide to go after the van. And it's here down this street where I get the drop on them. Surprise, motherfucker! Sadly, the van seemingly ignores that great collision and carries on its set path. So I keep driving and then start to unload bullets onto the van when I catch back up. And it's not long before I stop the van. Brilliant, it's going well so far. I then try and head towards the other car, but the game just fails me as I lost the car. I'm sorry, but how was I supposed to do that any quicker? Fuck this mission. So mission 19 puts you in a pizza van as you are an undercover cop at this point. Yep, a pizza van. Apart from that though, it's still the same shit, only worse now as the pizza van is a small, slow and weak vehicle so you will just end up killing yourself whenever you try and ram the suspect's car. Fuck this mission. Unit one is out of the chase. Our car is total. And is on so I finally reach mission 20, the final mission of the game, and boy is it a crazy one. You have to chase down and stop an armoured limo. And guess what it is that the game gives you to do this? Yeah, a motherfucking rocket launcher, baby. <laughs> yeah, this mission's gonna be awesome. Roger that. Catch him ASAP. Okay. I'm in the tunnel now, and I can see the limo. But I've got fucking cop cars in the way. How am I supposed to hit him? Damn it. Damn it, move out the fucking way! God! Man, this is so awkward to hit. And when you do hit him, it barely does any damage at all. It's an RPG. An R fucking PG, for Christ's sake. Oh, come on. Fire. Ah, oh, great. Now it's flying up in the fucking sky. Christ, it's probably going to hit some random building. Oh. Oh, great, and now I'm out of rockets. Machine gun time then. Yeah, that's better. Take that, you limousine driving prick. Oh, get out of the way, civilians. Yes, yes. I've almost got him. I've almost got him. Yes. What? No! Oh because I hit the civilian! Are you kidding me? He was almost there! Uh, okay, well I nearly did it the first time, so this should be a piece of cake. I've just got to be a bit more careful when I fire. Fuck! Uh, this would be easy if the game's aiming wasn't so broken. I can barely hit him. See, I just can't hit him consistently for fuck's sake. Wait, what the hell is that? You can lock on. If you press up on the D-pad, it will lock onto a target. I'm on the last level. Why am I finding out about this now? What the fuck? 
I could have done with this back on mission four. Ah, oh, all that time and stress for nothing. There was a lock on. <laughs> there was a lock on. Right, fuck this game. That limo driver's going down now. Yeah, rock, motherfucker. <laughs> ho, 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 I've got a machine gun now, asshole. I did it. I actually fucking did it. World's scariest police chases is over. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, you know, the sad thing is, this is actually an okay game. It's just ruined by several bullshit design decisions. The vehicle's damage is totally off. Your vehicle is way too weak and you don't do enough damage to your enemy. The time limits too, they're way too strict. You don't get enough time to drive up across the city. And it just causes the levels to just be a tedious case of trial and error, which is never any fun. The shooting, while there, with a lock on, is still awkward and it's not very practical to use. Plus some of the weapons just don't do any damage at all. <sighs> yeah. The city is really impressive for a PS1 game, and the driving is actually fun, it handles quite well. And I think it captures the spirit of the show quite well too. Uh, if they had just added a repair or power up option in the game, treated it more like a game and less like a police recruitment simulator or something, then it would have been really fun. But they didn't. Instead, they purposely decided to fuck the player over in nearly every mission with some kind of bullshit. <sighs> Either it's starting you facing the wrong way, or giving you very little time, or maybe giving you guns but not, but not letting you use them. Then there's the fact that you take more damage yourself than what you actually deal out to enemy cars. Or even the missions where you catch the suspect only for it to be another part of the mission where you've got to go back on where you've just been to pick up some bullshit bag that they threw out before a time limit gets you. Ugh. And then if you fail that you have to do the entire mission again. Ugh. Fuck this mission, fuck this game and fuck you John for putting your name on this piece of shit. In short, World's Scariest Police Chases is 25% a fun game and 75% bullshit. In other words, don't bother playing it. Alright, what shall I play with?